Today we're looking at five brilliant brand identity designs that have been released in July 2021 or very recently and seeing what we can learn. Let's go. Hello friends, my name is Matt Brunton. I'm a designer from the north of England. Welcome back to Flux and welcome. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. Your future self will thank you. Let's jump straight in to these projects. The first one is for Canada Water, which is not in Canada. It's actually an area of London and this project's been led by Dixon Baxi, who are a design consultancy in London. And they've been asked to reimagine Canada Water, this area of the city and rebrand it and this color scheme strikes me straight away um very bright this cyan and then the navy evoke water obviously water's in the name and the green we can see in the photography they've they've got a green in there it's kind of more of a slightly towards mint kind of green a bit different from the the, the nature but it pairs well as does the yellow which is a nice complementary color to blue so overall very vibrant and i guess with any area people want to um, most of the time portray neighborhoods as, as a vibrant place to be to live and to work and to play so that's what's going on here the word mark is interesting you can see in the center canada water so this is an existing typeface which i found it's from a foundry called monochrom and it's called Karelia. And you can see here, if you look at the uppercase A, it has a horizontal crossbar. But if we go to the word mark, we can see they've edited this in each of the A's and then how the A then connects over to the W. And it, to me, suggests like a wave. So the idea of, of water in there. So that, that's a great example of something you can do to create a word mark is take some existing type that's good quality and modify the type, customize it to create a unique word mark. And um, so it's mainly these sort of shapes with these kind of brush edges and the color scheme and the word mark that I'm seeing. And they've used the same type that is in the word mark, same typeface in these headlines. Um, space to think, share the road, heads clear, mind sharp. And it get, gets a feel of kind of a natural space within a big bustling city like London. So I think they're doing well to convey that. I'm also noticing this line art illustrations. I think there's some some more of this uh, here as we scroll through. We're getting more of the sense of the nature. Here we go. We see on this sign here, they have using this line art, which they commissioned an, an illustrator for. And this gives it a very playful edge to it it really really softens the whole idea of of the neighborhood i know some of the uh, the city of london it's quite hard edged business like so they're just slightly out from that and they're trying to convey their own feel here which is a lot more optimistic friendly kind of feel to it so this is really nice work here from dixon back say i love the art direction notice here we have somebody painting uh, by this uh, waterway here, which is a nice image anyway, um, of a nice lifestyle. But how art directed this is that they've actually picking up this branding field. The colors of the paint are the same or very close to the brand colors. So they've taken uh, care with these details. And these are it's lifestyle photography here, which really adds this overall feel. They're referencing uh, famous artists. Um, you can see here some pictures of, of the area as it is close to the city of London. And this feels like a little oasis that's a bit more friendly and a bit more natural uh, within London. So really nice work here. Dixon Baxi are really smashing it at the moment. They are super duper. So great work there. Now, the next project I want to look at is from Ragged Edge, another London studio. And this is for Reveal. Now, Reveal are a SaaS company, software as a service, so they're in tech. But what I really like about this project is it doesn't look like a typical tech company, you know, blue and white, the same old illustrations of, you know, the wavy haired people or like data flying through the air or something like that. All these cliches. They've not done that. They've chosen this chunky serif for the headlines that to me, it looks like a restaurant or a nice bar or something like that. 
and especially with this noise gradient that they've got going from the purple to the mint to this cream it really gives a different sort of feel and i think the cool thing about that is it is it helps them to stand out so the important thing you've got to remember with identities is you want to be appropriate to the sector but you also need to be distinctive within the sector so i think here they're being distinctive within this tech software space by giving it a little bit of a different feel and that makes it more intriguing and it makes it more recognizable so i won't labor the point with this identity but i definitely think that with the overall scheme i particularly like the type and the colors and the fact that they've broken out of some of the cliches i mean this sort of illustration style here is not what you would maybe associate with a SaaS website so Props for doing something different to Ragged Edge. We're going out of London now all the way to Norwich, which isn't that far for those who are not familiar with the UK's geography. And um, this is a new brand for the east of England. And one thing I like about that is, is the name. It says here, this was originally a campaign to promote arts and culture in Norfolk and Suffolk to tourists. So you imagine this title, Norfolk and Suffolk Arts and Culture. That's quite a mouthful. I had to be careful not to say any naughty words there. Now, the fact that they've changed that to Head East is a smart move. And I'd really encourage you, like, if your client has a terrible brand name and they've asked you to do a logo, like, try and get them to change the name. Give it a crack. So that could be actually a great way of helping them, you know, help them through the process, help them think that through. But I think this is a smart solution. It's nice here to see a, a slightly... Um, Smaller studio than the last two I mentioned, which are quite established in London. It's a Norwich-based studio for a brand which is for that area. Norwich is in Norfolk, if you're not familiar. So this is um, really nice work. I like how they've used this technique. I mentioned this um, in another video, but using the logo as a mask here for this photography, which you can see, again, they've just used the shape this the chevron type shape here on the social media applications you can see it here in this brochure so i think that's a really neat solution here head east they've got a good name the arrows they use that as a device throughout nice color scheme nice simple solution good work there from the click in norwich the next project number four how we doing is brookies cookies which again is a bit of a mouthful Brookies Cookies, and this uh, is all the way in Brazil, Rio. So we're getting a bit more exotic here. We've ventured out of England, and uh, this is a fun one. That's why I wanted to include it. They have a little mascot. Let's have a look at this animation. And a mascot is another device you can use in identity systems. You know, people think a lot about symbols and word marks, but a mascot is appropriate for some things. We maybe associate with sports teams, maybe universities, I know in the States, but uh, this is this is a cool, fun little mascot, which is appropriate here because cookies, it should be fun, right? We don't want this to be too serious and corporate. They've gone with a simple monochrome palette using this mint color uh, with black and white. And it's cool how this mascot works as well in black and white. This is on Behance, this project. Again, I couldn't find it on their site. Get projects on your websites, people, come on and these cookies look so good who wants to get involved and i think this is uh really appropriate there's possibly this is really cool this art direction i like this photography style this studio photography i think there's some more of it there's like a setup with a tv let me find it where is the television here it is this is cool they've even made this video kind of retro looking to fit with the old television they have here. This is nice art direction. These just plain photography roll backgrounds. Uh, one thing I was gonna say, I think some of the typography it doesn't quite work. We've got Cooper Black and then this bowl condensed all caps face. And then we had the sort of script for the, the word mark of Brookies. There's a few things going on. I'm not sure if they all work together, but overall, this is really fun. The packaging looks excellent. The shop looks cool. And again, we've got a different type on the neons. A bit too much going on with that, but the mascot, the color scheme, 
the word mark and the overall feel and especially the art direction on the photography. Love that. So great work here. Who's this by? Somebody in Brazil. Let's find them. I can't find, here we go. Multiple owners, Blank Design Studio from Brazil. Good job, Blank Design. Number five, the last one for today is the Alfred Landecker Foundation. And this is by Studio Output. And this is a little bit more serious. We've gone from cookies to defeating hatred and apathy in a digital age. These guys are uh, an advocacy group that are fighting anti-Semitism and discrimination and output have made sure that this is appropriate to the serious nature of this organization. However, they have brought a lot of personality to it. This is a system which relies simply on color and type. And you can do a lot just with those two elements. You see here some of the color scheme. There's a little bit of an illustration style as well. Lots of circles and lines kind of in these, these different illustrations. And I really applaud the use of color here. They haven't just stuck to you know, a very standard, a very simple color scheme. They've introduced lots of colors, but made sure they work together. And that takes some skill. The more elements you introduce, the more difficult it is to get right and the more likely you are to make a mistake. So this is advanced stuff, even though it's pretty much color type, a little bit of illustration style, layout, the way sometimes the, the lines are slanted. These are just little elements, but they're enough to make it distinctive and memorable as the foundation so excellent work here these typefaces they've just used a sans and a serif you can see they're often used uh, together these are beatrice which is by sharp foundry from new york and then commercial type a, a very large type foundry uh, have this typeface canella which is the the one with these little short serifs and they work really well to make this distinctive so i hope these five have been inspirational for you for your own work for the level that we can reach remember we look for many sources we don't copy from one we don't steal we be inspired from lots of different places and we learn design principles by looking at other work and then do our own work from first principles not copying somebody else's results so let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite and why and we'll talk to you soon